Hi guys, so I'm by McDonald's uh, in Hong Kong. This is on Hat uh, Avenue. So there is a McDonald's here. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you want to get to learn more or if you're planning to travel to Hong Kong, I'll be showing you around Hong Kong. So Hong Kong is quite diverse meaning you can find people from different places and you can find a lot of places. This is Hong Kong street food. Uh, so this place uh, basically sells everything Hong Kong street food. Uh, the name of this place is called Wa. It's at the um, intersection of Pratt and Hart Avenue. So if you want to try out some Hong Kong street food, this is the right place where you can try out. There are lots of food, both halal and non-halal. So, just so you can be able to know, most uh, restaurants or fast food, they save uh, pork in Hong Kong. Most people eat pork. So if you, if you are coming from an Islamic country or something, just be sure that the food that you, are, you order has no pork or maybe you can still find some halal restaurants i'll be able to take you on a walk sometime so this is the local street food um quite delicious you can try out and then uh, there's one more interesting thing that i just came across like i said hong kong is quite diverse so you can be able to find restaurants from different parts of the world this is called new istanbul this is new Istanbul Turkish restaurant. So this one is strictly halal food. That's if you don't consume any pork. So I guess most of the workers here, they're Turkish and they speak Turkish. Uh, so if you want to try out some Turkish food, I know I've got people that are from Turkey. They've got a beef donar kebab. They have Iskandar. They have chicken tikka and rice. So this is uh, a Turkish restaurant. Nasa Sinabe. Yeah. You speak Turkish? No. He speaks Turkish? Ah, the, the, the owner, the chef. Okay, so the chef speaks Turkish. So if you want to order something Turkish, this is the best Turkish restaurant. Yes, they have uh, kofte. Uh, they have lamb shish roll. They have uh, chicken donar. So you can be able to try out everything Turkish on this restaurant. This is uh, called New Istanbul Kebab. It's on uh, Pratt Avenue for those of you. So Hong Kong is quite expensive. Uh, for most people that would want to ask the cost of living in Hong Kong, I think Hong Kong is probably one of the most expensive places. But if you want to buy food, microwave food, it's quite cheap. You can go to 7-Eleven or you can go to Circle K. They always have a microwave there. You can buy cheap food for less than $10 and you can be able to microwave it. Yeah, so we are now on uh, Carnarvon Road. This, is, uh, this area is called TST. This area is called TST. Tsim Shang Tzu. Tsim Shang Shu. Yeah, it's Chinese, but I hope you understand. But then, as you can see, you'll be able to find high-end shops just along, I mean, Hong Kong has got high-end shops like Katia, uh, Rolex shops and everything. So if you want to do shopping, you don't need to go to a fancy place or any fancy places or something. You can actually find high-end shops right here, like in cheaper places. This is um, a gazette, I think people call it a gazette or something it's a buffet where you can buy newspapers or everything or anything that you want to buy so this is a shopping mall it's called k11 they actually have this this mall is very big but it's more of uh, a meeting point for foreigners that uh, live around here yeah because in tst that's the only place where you can get to find a lot of uh, uh, foreigners so i'll just take i'll just take you on a walk so you, as you can see there are places where you can um, you can change your money there are so many bureau to change around so even if you come with US dollars or euros 
be sure you'll be able to change your money here most bureau the change will be able to change any currency even if it's which part of the world you are be it uh, Turkish liras US dollars euros or any currency you can be able to change and one other thing is uh, they also if you if you have a cryptocurrency USDT or bitcoins or whatever you can change there's one place there called Coinwise so you can be able to change your money there so taxis uh, I just wanted to show you something quick this this is a taxi service these are the taxis in Hong Kong in this on this part of the island there are red taxis so these taxis they are meter taxis you also have access to uber and all these other uh you know uh services so that's crypto panda that's another place where you can sell your cryptocurrency uh there are high-end hotels here this is one of um sorry there's a there's a there's a renovations that are going on here this is k11 uh on the other side of uh of carnarvon road yeah so i'm just taking you on a tour obviously these people they'll be able to sell you their products and everything and you can see there's a, it's quite noisy as i said they are doing some renovation so if you want to do your shopping you can actually do the shopping uh in this mall yeah there's a british council there for students that are preparing IELTS and all this stuff definitely you can find a place where you can uh, uh, write your English exams yeah so this is more of a sitting area Hong Kongers they love to sit and they love to eat because their lifestyle is quite uh, it's quite a busy lifestyle they work a lot and they usually eat while standing while walking so you, you don't have to be you don't have to be ashamed or you don't have to feel like kind of bad when you start eating or when you when you eat from uh, outside or while standing because people here they live quite a busy life so as you can see there are some brands here should you want to buy clothing uh, usually these these brands are quite expensive uh, these brands are quite expensive uh, you still have other options to buy cheaper brands uh, if you if you decide to go outside the mall yeah so this was a quick introductory video so make sure you like this video uh, leave a comment in the comment sections and let me know where you're watching this from so that I can be able to produce more videos for you guys uh, make sure you like you subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.